This guy owns a $29 million mega mansion, an $80 million yacht, a $175 million super team. This is the NBA who is richer than Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo together. Cristiano Ronaldo may have ditched Manchester United for a new gig with some team in Saudi Arabia, but that dude is still making mad cash. He has a net worth of around $500 million. His net worth is a teensy bit higher than that other ball kicking superstar, Lionel Messi. Looks like Ronaldo's jump to Al Nasser Stadium is gonna keep him in the green for a hot minute. In fact, Forbes listed him as the third highest paid athlete in the world in 2022, ranking in a cool $115 million. That's a mere $5 million less than what he made the year before. In the other hand, his big rival, Lionel Messi, who basically owns the soccer world, like seriously, he's won so many awards that you could probably fill up a whole room with them. Well, Messi's got enough endorsements to make your head spin, and his total net worth is estimated to be a whopping $600 million. But it's not just about money, folks. Messi's skills on the soccer pitch are what really make him stand out. He played for PSG for a bit, but then left to sign of Inter Miami. And oh yeah, he finally won a World Cup of Argentina in 2022. So he's basically the king of the world at this point. Cristiano Ronaldo gets his own private jet, and he's living the dream while the rest of us were stuck in coach. And get this, it's worth a whopping $32 million. $7.1 million villa, Bugatti La Voiture Noir, which is actually the world's most expensive car, cost the soccer star a sizable fee of $18 million. That's rich, right? But even when both Messi and Ronaldo combined, there's an NBA legend, not only one, but two NBA legends that is richer than Ronaldo and Messi mansion. We have Michael Jordan with a $29 million mega mansion. Michael Jordan's enormous house in Chicago has been on the market for 10 years now, and not even a pair of Air Jordans can sweeten the deal enough to sell it. The guy has splashed the price nearly in half and is still stuck with this massive 56,000 square foot, seven acre compound in Highland Park, Illinois. The house has every bell and whistle you can think of, but apparently some other improvements and the fact it screams MJ are making it hard to sell. I mean, when you approach from the ground, you can tell it's the home of the man himself. And let's be real, there's a lot of work that would have to be done to make it your own. On top of all that, Jordan pays more than $100,000 in annual property taxes. Ouch. Talk about taking a hit to the wallet, but hey, he's a billionaire, so that's just pocket change for him, right? Maybe he should be trying to add a basketball court to the deal. Or even better, give buyers a chance to play with him one-on-one -on -one for the house. The outdoor space proves he could be spectacular, but there's a tennis court, an infinity pool with a grass island in the middle. There's also a pond stocked with fish. Jordan's luxurious taste even shows itself in details like doorways. The set of doors seen below are from the original Playboy Mansion in Chicago. There are pool tables, basketball court, a game room, nine bedrooms, 19 bathrooms, a cigar room, a wine cellar, watches collection. That is some crazy stuff right there. But not only that, his watches collection is something different. Guys, Michael Jordan is not just a sports icon, he's a watch aficionado like no other. Apparently, he never wears the same watch twice. Can you even imagine? With the prices of all his pieces combined, it's practically like he's wearing a luxury car on his wrist. Michael's got a bunch of Rolexes in his collection, like the super exclusive Rolex Day Day Platinum President. But oh no, he's not just a Rolex kind of guy, he's got a Roger Dubois Excel Blur Spider Pirelli. This watch is so fancy, it's got a skeleton dial, spooky, and a band made from tires that won Formula 1 races. Is the GOAT ever going to wear something from the bargain bin? This is just the tip of the iceberg, folks. Jordan's got more pricey watches in his collection than we have funny quips. Like the Urwek UR202 timepiece that cost an arm and a leg, and probably a kidney. All these Rolexes he owned alone probably cost more than your house. Sorry, not sorry. But Michael is worth a cool $1.6 billion, so a million dollar watch collection is like pocket change to him. It's not just his mansions and cars that make him a rock star, it's those fancy watches too. You know what they say, time is money, and he's got plenty of both. If you're lucky enough to catch Jordan out and about, keep your eyes peeled for his latest wrist candy, cause you never know what kind of rare, expensive watch he's gonna be wearing next. MJ is living the high life, and we can only dream of having such high-end watch collection. This guy really knows how to rock in style. Not only watches, Jordan also knows how to rock his whips. He got himself a jaw-dropping car collection that'll make your jaw drop to the floor. This dude has got some serious moolah to spend, with rides that are worth more than your house. His whip collection includes the Mercedes McLaren SLR 722 edition, which is worth a whopping $3 million. 
He even likes to customize his babies to match his unique style and gets his plates plastered with his name. This man loves the color red, so much of that most of his cars are painted in the color of love. But don't you worry, even in the rare case where he goes for a different color, it's definitely gonna catch your eye. MJ is a huge fan of Corvettes. He's got a bunch of them with engines so powerful they could lift a Sultan's palace. He's also got a handful of Ferraris, which will cost you a small fortune to buy. Get this, he owns a Ferrari 512TR, which alone costs more than $280,000. That's a lot of dough, my friends. Add to that to his Ferrari 599GTB Fiorano, Ferrari Pista, and his famous Ferrari 512 Maranello and you'll be amazed at the worth of his collection. Rumor has it, his car collection might be worth around $10 million. And if he's really got his hands on that elusive Bugatti Veyron Sang Noir, like some people say he does, then his car collection could possibly be worth more than the GDP of a small country. All we can say is that we're glad we're not his accountant, and we hope that he's got the car collection insured for everything it's worth. With all these luxury cars, he wouldn't be surprised if he has a chauffeur on standby at all times. Do you know, he loves to play golf besides basketball. So why would you play golf campaign when you can buy it for fun, right? Michael Jordan is all about that golf life. This dude was the ultimate baller on the court, but now he's found a new way to keep that fire burning, on the greens. It's a whole different ball game, but MJ can't get enough of it. It's like he spends his whole retirement playing golf. And let me tell you, he's not messing around. This guy is competitive AF, even when it comes to golf, but he wants to play the game his way, in his own crazy fast pace. So what does the legend do? He only goes and coughs up a $15 million for his own private golf course. The Groove XX3 is in Florida, so he's got his own little hideaway to hit the links with his homeboys and some other pro golfers who are just as crazy as him. And if you play with MJ, be ready for him to talk some serious smack while he dominates. But the best part, he controls the pace, so you better keep up or miss out on all the action. Don't be a rectangle, come play with MJ to the groove. He has too much money, but as a billionaire, you would not like to flex it on the ground, cause he knows how to flex it in the sky, with his jet. This dude's got a business ventures all over the country, so he can't just be flying a commercial like the rest of us chumps. No, MJ, he went and dropped a cool $61.5 million on a private jet. Talk about flexing your bank account. Now, for most of us plebs, buying a private plane is just plain ridiculous. But like, this is Michael Jordan we're talking about here. This dude's got six NBA championships under his belt, so he can pretty much do whatever he wants. And what he wants is to fly around his own personal jet. Not only can Michael jet off to wherever he pleases, whenever he wants, he's doing it in style. He got this bad boy customized with blue and white colors to match the University of North Carolina. Like, can you even imagine being the pilot of this plane? You'll be cruising at 30,000 feet, looking out at those baby blue wings and feeling like a total boss. Oh, and don't forget the sweet N236MJ sign on the side of the plane. It's like he's saying, yeah, I'm the greatest basketball player of all time, and I'm rich as hell. And this plane is just another way to prove it. Hey, if I had that kind of money, I'd probably do the same thing. But for now, I'll just sit here and coach and dream of one day flying high like MJ. We all know that athletes love to show off their outrageous wealth, but let's talk about Michael Jordan the yacht. This ain't your average yacht. No, sir. We're talking about an $80 million super yacht that's longer than a football field and it costs almost a million dollars to maintain per week but hey it's not all flash and no substance jordan's yacht has everything you need to live the high life there's a jacuzzi on the deck a gym because who wants to fall out of shape on a yacht and even a dining room for fancy feasts plus the man's got a basketball court on there because he's got to show off his skills to his guests and for all you lazy folks out there like me there's a beach club movie theater and a full satellite television plus a private chef to make you never go hungry honestly I wouldn't be surprised if this yacht was nicer than half the hotels I've stayed in. So hats off to Jordan for living the ultimate luxury experience on the water. Not only does he know how to flex, but he knows how to invest. Michael Jordan ain't never scared of taking no risks. He's a straight up risk taker through and through. Dude's always hidden up the casino, putting it all on black, and now he's gone and dropped a whopping $175 million to buy the Charlotte Hornets. That's some next level baller shiz. Cause who's owning a basketball team in a small town could straight up flop, but not for MJ. Oh no, this move helped him become a billionaire, cause the Hornets are now worth over $1 billion. He's the majority owner, so this franchise is his baby for the foreseeable future. Now, our boy Michael could sell his majority stake and be set for life, with his whole fam living it up like ballers. But nah, my man loves being in the game as an owner. He already won 6 NBA titles as a player, achieving things that no current Hornets player will ever come close to. 
but if he can win a title as the owner of the Hornets, then he's on some whole other level of success. This dude just wins at everything, whether it's basketball or not, but after 17 years of ownership, Michael Jordan has finally given up on his dream of winning a championship with the Charlotte Hornets. The team only has four winning seasons during his tenure, and they never made it past the first round of playoffs. Jordan's time as owner was also marked by a revolving door of head coaches. Eight different coaches led the team during his time, and none of them were able to get the Hornets over the hump. In the end, Jordan decided to sell the team for $3 billion to a group read by Rick Schnall and Gabe Plotkin. Both Schnall and Plotkin are majority owners in other NBA teams, so they should be familiar with the challenges of running a basketball franchise. Let's hope that the new owners can finally bring a championship to Charlotte after all. It's been a long time coming, but not only Michael Jordan, but there is a player who's richer than Messi and Ronaldo, and he's playing in the league. If you liked the video, make sure to smash the like and subscribe button below, and comment down the topics that you want to hear about next. Until next time, peace out.